should his next opponent be scared? Uh, oh question, yeah. Isn't it? Well, this. So yeah, I mean, like getting that. Firstly, getting that BT Sport job, nuts. Because obviously, See, there's one dream. thing. Well, yeah, there's one thing commentating on a YouTube boxing fight. But they said, and, and at first, like, that's all I was going to do, just commentate or, or present the, the Jake Paul one. But then after doing that interview with Jake, they said, yeah, you're, on, really? you're on the whole night. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> so I'm sat next to David Hay, like proper like boxing legends. That realistically, <laughs> at the idea of YouTube boxing, are probably a little bit like... I was going to say, yeah. how did they take you know to I mean? you? Well, at first... Did they give you respect? Well, by the end of it, I believe so. But at first, there's always a little bit of, hmm, this well, I want to enough. test his knowledge. You know, you can sort of feel it. Like, is he legit? Does he know what he's on about? And don't get me wrong. Like, I was thrown in at the deep end. You know, I turned up there. There was no briefing. It wasn't like, oh, this is what we're going to do, you know, ABCD. It was sort of like, right, did we're they, on it. We're on in 10. Let's go. Did they, like, talk about, like, previous fights? And you had to sit there like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, um, did you do your research? Yeah, so I, I did a lot of research, lots of research on the whole card, on the main event, all of it. Um, but yeah, essentially you turn up there, you don't know what you're going to get asked, anything yeah. like that. And, and at the same time, I wanted to make a point of not only talking when I was being talked to, I wanted to like join in on the conversation and be yeah. like, be like a man. <laughs> and like, and obviously like, I don't know, sometimes you think, oh, did I fuck it there? Did I not? But overall, I feel like it did go well. Yeah. Um, and now regarding what I think Jake Paul should do next, obviously I'm always going to say, I want to see him go against KSI. That's the biggest fight well, for me. It was trending UV him, wasn't it? Me versus Jake yeah, Paul. There was, there was, in the tabloids. Yeah, they fucking tabloids picked up on it. So this, so it's because one of the other commentators or presenters on the BT Sport Night, he wants to have a fight. He wants to come out of retirement and do a fight. And he was like, Joe, get on my undercard. Go against Jake Paul. And I was like, hang on, bro. Apart from the fact, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a presenter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't really want to. <laughs> Anyways, he was like, eh, you're going to do it anyway. Right, like, fuck off. <laughs> and um, so then I, I assume he's gone and told like talk sport, you know, uh, different yeah, tabloids that it's happening 100%. And then obviously tweeting, they've yeah. put it all out there, which I found funny. But um, yeah. I, you, for, you messaged us just like, absolutely fucking not. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, no. What's that happening? Us? Um, uh, oh, I put it in the, <laughs> the waffling chat when you were kicked out. <laughs> So you just message Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I still put it in the group chat. Just Luke the in the group was chat. <laughs> it, was a, it was a two-man group chat. Yeah, but and anyways, message. I do believe. I mean, do you? What do you think KSI's thinking after that knockout that Jake Paul's just done? If I, mate, I think KSI has to fight him now. But if I was KSI, mate, the, the best thing you could do is just air. Like, just don't fight. Why would you give Jake the satisfaction of getting what he wants? What fighting? Which go concentrate on your music. Music career, which I think he should. Well, I think he is are doing. You, are you saying that also to a point? Are you? Oh, what's the point? Are you KSI are you, versus Jake? Yeah, but if Jake, KSI is going to win, it's only going to benefit his career. Yeah, but no? Jake Paul's looking dangerous. Well, so, are you saying that you think Jake Paul would win? Yeah, that's what. I, I think, what are you saying? From what we see, Jake Paul has a chance of winning, but KSI always ends up winning. So I don't know what would happen. Yeah, but we do you did. see my point? Like KSI, no matter when he's up against it, he's always winning. He always wins. But as you said earlier, we, we it did gets to a certain point if yeah. KSI came up against Ricky Hatton. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible example. 